Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 4 uh, on solution 2022 solid state physics. So today, we want to discuss question number 6 and 7. You can see the total question paper of this PR that is question number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 discussed in last three part. And this is the part 4. We will be discussed the question number 6 and 7. So, let's start. Question number 6 Calculate the hole coefficient of a solid where both electrons and hole contribute the carrier. Electron and hole contribute the uh, carrier, that means it's a semiconductor. Within the semiconductor, you can see along, along the three fourths, there is no current flow, only current flow along that direction, and charge are separated along that direction. Okay. So along these three four the charge are separated uh, by hole and the electron are cancel out to each other the current is zero but in case of x axis that is along this direction current flow is jx and the conductivity is nothing but due to the hole is is uh, mu plus p p is the density of hole and uh, this is small n is the density of electron. So this is the total conductivity. Now uh, comes into the velocity along the y direction is nothing but distance by tau and distance is uh, AC equals to ut plus half a t square. Half a is the acceleration which is for force by mass and tau square. So this is the velocity along y direction, right? Now the holes and electron have the force exerted by this uh, Lorentz force like that, and the uh, y equals to is changed into this one because this force is changed here. So just replace the f is like that. So finally, you will obtain this um, for hole and for electron velocity is like that and total is must be zero because they are contribute equals to zero here, here this total is zero v, vi plus and vi minus is put here and finally you will be obtain this expression of eh and the whole coefficient nothing but eh by jx h j s is the sigma ex so eh by ex h is nothing but this one and sigma equal to here we obtain sigma equal to e into this so if you put this value, you will be obtained the expression of Hall coefficient. The next question which says that they can Hall coefficient be zero? Yes, Hall coefficient can be zero when the number of hole and number of electron are equal. Next question says distinguish between type 1 and type 2 superconductor with the help of MH plot. Uh, uh, in the superconductor, there are two types of superconductor type 1 and type 2, type 1 known as soft, type 2 known as hard. Uh, if you plot this image car for type 1, this is, uh, is the state that is uh, in the superconducting state and this is the normal state. And in case of the type 2, the superconducting is normal, there is a vortex state between superconducting state and normal state. This is actually hard type superconductor, that's why its uh, transition needs to be a uh, vortex state, so that means a mixture state. Okay. So this is lower critical magnitude, this is a higher magnitude, right? So this is type one type two. Next question: the magnetic field strength, that is the H, is given here, uh, 10 to the power 6 ampere per meter, and the flux density. Find out the flux density and magnetization. The susceptibility is given here. From the value of susceptibility, we will be obtain the relative permeability, that is 1 plus psi. And obtain this relative permeability, you can get the magnetic flux density B equal to mu naught mu R H. Mu naught is 4 pi 10 to the minus 10. Mu R is given here, and H put the value. You will obtain this magnetic flux density. Magnetization M equals to chi H put the value of chi and H it will be obtained 5 ampere per meter. Next question say explain the necessity of the concept of the effective mass and discussing behavior of electron in periodic lattice. Within the periodic lattice, the electron uh, electric fails nature with the k value is like that. And the effective mass is h cross square by 3 to e d k square. If you take the double derivative of this curve, will be obtained this distinct curve. So at these two points, these are tends to infinity, but this is positive and this is negative. That is with the lower value of k, this is positive and upper value of k is negative. 
that means lower value of k it gives a positive uh, electron and the upper value of uh, k it gives reverse value that is the uh, positron actually now the question is effective mass equal to the true mass of column uh, electron uh, no the effective mass is not equal to the true mass of electron is 0 0.1 to 10 times generally or higher than this one okay next question obtain the expression of specific heat of solid according to einstein theory specific heat is well solid according to einstein theory we discuss in the theoretical class you can see this is the slurring features of the einstein uh, theory that the crystal consists of atom which may regard as identical independent uh, and there is n atom in 3d harmonic oscillator etc etc by Planck's theory this energy's value is discrete so the average value will be like that taking this average this integration you can do this after this long integration you will be often this is so zero point energy and additional this one so this total internal energy is like that and the cb equals to that. so this is the einstein theory of specific heat now there are two cases uh, question here that is the uh, also mentioned in the form of both high and lower temp uh, temperature and why this device theory is specific heat is, is more acceptable than Einstein's theory. Why device theory is more acceptable? So in case of uh, high energy, in case of high temperature, this KBT is greater than, so C is very much greater than so theta E. So taking this approximation will be obtained 3R. In case of low temperature, you take this approximation, you will often this as well. So, so Einstein, experimental and theoretical Einstein is not matches at lower temperature, it is matched in higher temperature. This is not matched because the crystal vibrate totally independent on one another, which is oversimplified. And device con uh, uh, considers the couple harmonic oscillator can propagate to other than a single frequency. And uh, another important, another important is that. Um, Dy take the velocity as the two dimension that is longitudinal and the transverse. But uh, one uh, Einstein, Einstein, Einstein take only one side velocity, one side velocity. That is longitudinal. So there are two distinct paths. That's why uh, Dy theory is specific, more acceptable, and it matches with the experimental value rather than Einstein. So I think clear about this thing. Uh, if there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me. This is my contact detail and this is my YouTube channel details. So that's it for today. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.